Alright, hello everybody, welcome to the um, Ultra Zor Formation, and uh, this is how it's supposed to look. I made a mistake, made them bend over a little bit more, but this is how straight they're supposed to be. So, my apologies in the previous review, which hopefully you, um, you guys who were complaining about it last time when I made a mistake, watch this video before you uh, comment, please. Alright, to the Ultra Zor Formation, pretty much you're going to discombobulate the whole Zord. And then you bring in this sword. Already. Is everything set up on actually not set up on me yet? You're gonna take this uh You're gonna get him ready. Actually, yeah. Just put him there for now. For the mammoth, take him apart. Oh man, got him pretty good in there tight. Just this can bomb this taking apart right now. There. For this portion of the leg for the crocodile, you use the part where it has a bigger hole and it has this little um carved up parts to insert them there. The reason why you have to put that there is to put uh, make the make sure that this little guy's fins actually fit through. See? And then put them up. And just put pop into the pig. Straighten them up a little bit and that's all. Next portion, this crocodile's head. Make sure the little uh, smaller hole in mean, dent is going to be put in here. And this is for the wolf sword. Make sure when you put them in, uh, just cock him in forward. Actually, not yet. There. Not fully out, but in the middle. So it's done. For the thigh piece, you just, for some reason, you just have to connect it this way, right here in that part, and you're done. It shows that you have to do this, keep it out like that, but it gets bothering. So I just put it in there. The shield. These little two pegs right here. They will fit in nicely and securely with the uh, shield. See? There. Next part. You put the sword back on. It's already taller than my camera. Dang. We'll start off with the thigh piece square at the moment. The hands. Make sure uh, the thumbs are facing outward and you just put it right here, this side. A lot of quick noises, but it's fine. Nothing's broken yet. <laughs> Ah, uh, alright, uh, you just have to put back the tiger's sword.
inspect the helmet. Now part, uh, oh yeah, that's what I forgot. That's why the connectors help. It's gonna get bulky. I forgot to put this connector on. This is actually keeping it stabilized for at the moment. Now connect the whale back in. If you want to see a mega that falls apart a lot, then this is the Zord for you. And I was doing this uh, review earlier, everything fell apart. No joke. Take off the head or the whale. Put it backwards. Hey, it's carrying a baby. <laughs> uh, and now I'll just pop in um, the mammoth head in and you'll be set to go This has been a challenge. The only thing different between the helmet is that you extend it fully out, and the, tri uh, and the mammoth horns go forward. Or in um, the booklet, they have it up. Actually, there. That's how you do it. Now you shove in the little hands. The part right here, they were clever. They made it into an angle so it it wouldn't um, contradict the hands on the side of the Megazord. That's already been in, inserted. There. Okay, that was a challenge. That was a challenge right there. That is your Ultra Zord Megazord. Okay, let's get a. Pretty much in this mode, uh, Megazord is hindered of all of its articulation. It cannot move without hitting another part of the Zord. See, when you move the hand, you can only move the hand stuff forward like this, and then be careful and there. Because the propeller also hits the whale and the mammoth head. At least the pegs stay in. But overall, it's just a it's just a good display piece and nothing really that much. Alright, let's get, let's get a uh, comparison. How tall is it? It's bigger than the psycho gun. Let me get something else to compare it. Yeah, the cannon just fell off right now. 
as compared to the original, actually the Mighty Morphin Ultra Zord. And it's taller than that. And heavier. Wait, let me see. Wait, no, it's not heavier. Uh, just because it's the battery pack. But, I mean, come on, it's this thing is huge, Mondo huge. Compared to my keyboard. That thing's big. Yeah, um, hopefully you guys like this review, and this is the combination to the RPM Ultra Zord. See you in the next review, guys. Hopefully you like this.